I've been having nightmares these last few months. I'm a fan of the horror genre, and something I often hear a lot is that people love horror because, on some level, they know that it isn't real and could never happen in real life. But this has ceased to be true in the past half year. Since October of 2023, we've seen terrifying scenes that look like they could come straight out of a gruesome flick by Eli Roth or James Wan, and we've had to grapple with the fact that they're real and actually happened, and were live-streamed and uploaded by the Israel Defense Force, much of them while laughing. Collective punishment is a war crime. The taking of hostages by the Islamic resistance movement, aka Hamas, does not and will never give Israel the right to commit massacres against a civilian populace, who are now contained in a very small portion of the Gaza Strip and are being actively murdered and starved to death with a denial of much-needed aid. Our politicians are corrupt. Generation Z's growing awareness that the indigenous population of Palestine have been undergoing genocide has been answered with desperate cries to cease the arming of Israel, without which they would lose the biggest part of their firepower, which they cruelly and gleefully use against unarmed children. They have been answered with callous indifference and even repression by the United States, who now violate the ensured rights of free speech with a law to either ban TikTok or force it to sell to a United States-based investor, ready to turn the website into a clone of Twitter, where information is suppressed and propaganda flourishes. The dying screams of Aaron Bushnell, a U.S. Air Force intelligence officer who set himself on fire to protest America's continued support of ethnic cleansing and genocide, has been pathologized into mere mental illness. I apologize that this interruption of an otherwise unrelated video you expected to watch is occurring, but at this point, silence is complicity. We cannot stand back and do nothing as though it doesn't affect us, since it's our money being used to slaughter innocents. Most of the congressmen on either side of the aisle have been bought out by Apex money, which leaves us no choice but to turn to third-party alternatives like Jill Stein. This is going to get worse. The United States recently passed a bill approving billions of dollars in aid to Israel, while explicitly outlining the cutting of funding to UNRWA, a United Nations aid system that was falsely accused of supporting Hamas with no evidence. This bill also explicitly denies aid to the Palestinian people should they bring any case or support any case to the International Criminal Court against Israel. You have a voice. You have to use it. Even just being educated and spreading the word helps, in an era where we're being actively lied to. Oppressed people have the right to resistance. I will be posting links to Arab.org, where one click a day can send a donation to aid agencies, as well as a spreadsheet of verified Gaza families in need of assistance. From the river to the sea, Palestine can, must, and will be free.